very excited to be out here and get to show you all the cool new features in iMovie 09. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna start out showing you some editing. So just like iMovie 08, we've got the great skimming that allows me to look through my content. I'm just gonna go ahead and select a bit of this and just drag it up to my project. That'll add that in. We've got another shot here, and it'd be really nice to insert this in the middle of this clip. All I have to do with iMovie 09 is let go, and up pops this new menu. And because I have the advanced mode turned on in preferences, I get even more choices than what Phil showed before. I get things like cutaway, picture-in-picture, -picture, green screen that are available to me. But we're gonna go ahead and do an insert. And so once I do the insert there, the clip gets dropped in right at the spot where I let go. I can play that back. And you see we have a nice cut over to the, that shot. Let's take a look at a clip down here. I'm sure you're gonna miss this place. Never gonna forget it. That's a great dialogue shot. And that, the sound there would be really nice to put in underneath the video that we were just looking at. So I'm just gonna skim along here and just select it. I'm sure you're gonna miss this place. Never gonna forget it. Skimming makes it really easy to find exactly that piece of audio. I'll take this up and I'll drop it up here. And this time what I'm gonna choose is audio only. And what that's gonna do is just place the audio in underneath the video. And let's go ahead and play that back. I'm sure you're gonna miss this place. Never gonna forget it. So really easy to, to do that kind of mixture of audio and video. Let's go ahead and take, I've got a clip down here, one of the kids jumping in the lake. Kind of fun. Let's go ahead and select a piece of that. And we'll drag that up into the project. And we have another shot here that was taken a little while later where he kind of jumps in again. So I'll go ahead and select that one. And I'm gonna drag that up in here. And let's take a look at that. So those are some, those are some nice clips, but we could make that look a lot better if we tightened up the action. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the new action pop-up and I'm gonna choose the precision editor. When I do that, what drops down is a magnified view of the edit that we're working on. And what you see here is everything on the upper line is all of the material to the left of the edit, and everything on the lower line is everything to the right of the edit. And I can skim back and forth and actually see the edit happen, but I can also skim on this clip and I can see the content before and after the edit on the clip on the left, and I can do the same thing on the clip on the right. So I can see all the different material that could be used for this edit. And everything you see here is interactive. I can grab this clip and move it back and forth. I can grab this clip and move it back and forth and adjust the edit any way that I'd like. Another really cool thing that I can do is I can actually come in here and just pick a spot and just click. And when I click, that point will slide over and that becomes the point where the edit takes place in that clip. Let's come down to this clip here and I'll pick a corresponding spot here where he goes in the water and we'll click, and now let's take a look at the edit. So we've got this nice kind of shift in the angle. Now, very, very easy. So if we just take a listen here now to the audio. Notice the audio shifts there because the, the audio is cutting at the same point the video does, and so because of the change in the angle, it sounds different. We can take care of that by just selecting the audio button here, and now I can actually see my audio track separately here, and I can actually go in and I can adjust this separately by dragging it. So now what I've done is I've made the audio on the first clip extend beyond the uh, edit point. So let's go ahead and play that back. So we just get a nice clean piece of audio from the clip on the left. So as you can see, this is a really complex edit. In a pro tool, this would take a lot more steps. We've done it in a nice, really interactive, visual way.